Some two years ago, the Utah Mela Vladi and myself met for creativity classes. The Yuta and Mela made a short movie, which you can download at www.vedetero, Project Bani, 12th film. It is not explicitly show that the girls extemporized and actually shot a film, so that truth as large as life may not make people feel uneasy. Yet the movie came naturally from brainstorming chats around topics like light, rainbow colors, to perceive, to watch, window pane, distance, representation, beauty, image recording, movies, video clips, soap operas, and a million more. So funny picture. Don't take picture. We don't take a good idea. I explained how people save their memories on tape for later enjoyment by moving the camera around and pushing a few buttons. Then Cosmin watched over the security of it all, while I waited outside so the mice felt free to play at the shopping spree. Vladi is born for music and plays at playing the piano. He's grooving, plus the frantic way he has a fingering things within reach and beyond prompted the idea of tactile scores. Here is the first tactile music sheet ever as far as I know. The music sheet is a project for the future. We decided for easier things first, letters. The Yuta learned how to finger read tactile letters in one week spent with me over the summer holidays. Now she reads tactile texts plus writes in capitals, mail or classroom dictation. Few are the things she enjoys more than feeling included into the seeing world. She loves letters like she loves to dance or run or ride her bike. And then one day, googling for allies, we stumbled upon Valentin Aoui. We found out all about his amazing life, about his museum in Paris, saying, quote, Without him, Bry would have remained an uneducated blind and the six-dot system would have never existed. We learned about pressed wet cardboard prints so the planet's 19th century blind can finger read the same Bibles as their families I read. <laughs> Yes, yeah. Then Chang for good night.
Litere, literele noastre de plastic vor fi prestate. And about moon systems which meet us halfway. And how scholar Frank Rainey protested in the United States Senate against schools giving up the Roman letter, although most of the blind he educated performed better in letter reading than Bry. <laughs> Here we rest our case. We simply let you know about our adventure. Time and odds will have their say. Just this before saying goodbye, a vision of truth is a snapshot of truth. High tech can do anything upon request. Computers speak today, dogs bark into personal film cells, someday soon two track printers will issue 2D and 3D sheets for classes of mixed up seeing, partially seeing and blind. Learning and teaching is a lifelong everybody cycle. Few trainable animals still live in cages and no human being should. A disability is a cage with open doors and windows. Physically disabled people can write pen in toe grip or make music pen in teeth touching computer keys or go for Paralympics. The blind can read the masters and paint in colors. While missing parts can hurt, the real us are not in our disabilities. We are one dream ahead of ourselves. And it is all a face thing, a mind game, and a solidarity job.